Back here in Boulder at Potts Field, the 2008 Track and Field Championships. One event done. The Texas A&M women have captured the 4x1 100-meter relays. Now we go to the men's side. We see the current men's standings. Missouri on top of Colorado, 45 points to 42. Nebraska in third with 25 points. And you see Texas A&M and in Texas and Baylor. They hope to make up some of that ground with the sprints today. And, of course, we started the men's 4x100 meter relay on the men's side, 39.28, 39.28 the time to beat. There is Richard Adobobi from Texas A&M running out of lane five. He'll hand off to a very talented freshman, Gerald Fury, in the second leg. Marcus Boyd, a freshman from Baylor, part of that very speedy Baylor Bears 4x1 relay team. Getting ready in the blocks. And it's very important for AM and Baylor to get off to a good start in this competition as they both have around nine finalists today. AM looks best on paper, but right now there's Gerald Fury of Texas AM. He needs to pick it up right now. Ryan Campbell for Colorado on the outside right now as he's going to get ready to hand off to Nate Terry, the third leg. And on the inside, here comes Texas AM. Dominique Stafford, out of Chris Dykes, and Baylor has the baton ahead of Trey Hartz. Texas A&M is going to pull off the sweep of the men's and women's 4x100 meter relay. 38-85, the winning time for the Aggies of Texas A&M. Baylor's second at 39-37, and Colorado comes in third. Their lead leg, Hugh Charles, the starting running back for the Buffalo football team. And it was a great leg for Gerald Fury of Texas A&M that really opened it up. He took Texas A&M from around the pack into the lead, handing off there to Dominique Stafford. And at this point, it is all over. Texas A&M is well out in front. Chris Dykes, all he has to do is get the baton and just finish up strong. And Texas A&M, boy, oh boy, that youngster, Gerald Fury on the second leg, really did a job in this relay for A&M. I feel you very, very talented freshman. We talked about him going in. As Texas A&M, 38-85, the winners. Dominique Stafford, in that third leg, just made it happen for Chris Dykes, the anchor. Jeff Powers with our winners. All right, we're here with Texas A&M. Chris Dykes right now joins us, 38-85. What a time. Yes, sir. Well, we knew we had competition, and uh, well, as long as we got to stick around and trust ourselves, hit the tape, we knew we could run fast. And so we just we wouldn't worry about the time. We worried about each other. This was kind of a Brazos Valley battle between Baylor and Texas A&M. How do you guys feel about coming out on top? Well, we can't just focus on one team. You know, you got to focus on every other team that's in the race because you never know who can pop off on what day. All right, Texas A&M, you're winning the 4x100. Let's send it back upstairs. All right, Jeff, and they did it.